Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Denisha Lachelle, and I'm back with another video, y'all. So I don't know how I'm gonna title this word, but from my notes that I got last year is stop having sex outside of marriage. I'm not sure how God is gonna blow or prompt me to make the title, but um you get the picture, so let's pray. And also I just wanna say I don't wanna scare any of y'all, like as far as like like make you feel some type of way like oh my god god hates me now or nothing negative like just listen with a pure heart and an open mind so father god i just want to thank you for this beautiful day i pray that your presence just rests on us right now father god we know when two or more gather in your name that there you are in the midst so i yield to you god i yield to you god you have complete control use me as a vessel to speak to your people in jesus name i pray amen excuse me um no i was gonna say okay so y'all before i made this video i had like three other words i don't know god god be giving me words and then he redirects me then change me but one thing about it if y'all been following along with me is that i never want to put a video out there if god did not tell me to do it and as i was scrolling down my words from my father um he led me to this one and i made this video i made this note november 25th 2023 last year and i remember if y'all know um one of my videos was leave them alone in jesus name let them go something like that i'll put it in the description but i was basically talking about relationships and a lot of us are in relationships we're not supposed to be in we in ungodly relationships that's like we're basically harming ourselves but we know right from wrong yet we still do wrong and we we're basically just lukewarm and the thing about it is god takes it all into account meaning that he already knew that you was going to have your own free will and choose to do x y and z but um i remember last year around this time that i was dealing with somebody and i was fornicating with them and i had a ministry amen um if y'all follow along y'all follow along this is a non-judgmental zone and i also say that um when 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 god deals with you in ministry or just being in god you have to confess your sins and i already did all that i repented and i'm on the right path but i just want to say that this is coming from a place of love y'all like really truly honor honorably honorably love to stop having sex outside of marriage whether you are a virgin or not this is very crucial for you to know because a lot of us be celibate some of us um have already lost our virginity and we're celibate now but you know sometimes we compromise and i'm telling this out of love to don't compromise yourself because you're only going to hurt yourself in the long run like if you do not know who your husband is, you should be waiting for him and seeking God's face for eternity. Oh, that's a good word, Holy Spirit. I should have did that word. I should have did that word. But um, love yourself first because you deserve the world. Amen and hallelujah. But stop giving yourself away to a man or to a woman if it's not your husband or wife. Because God made that covenant for a reason for for you and your husband to come together you and wife to come together to be fruitful and multiply but if you get constantly giving yourself away then you are creating soul ties you're creating bondage you are are partaking in emotional damage you only hurting yourself because one thing about it is when you come out of these relationships these not guard these not god ordained relationships is going to hurt you like you're you're going to have to heal you're going to have to break the soul tie you're going to have to get over it you know, and that's the worst part about it, especially when you want to be with somebody, but you know that they're not doing the will of God. And that's what it that's what it comes down to is have a secret code with God. You know, let God know like, hey, God, if this is my husband, if this is my wife, this is the secret code with them. I ask God a question or give him a secret code that only you and your you and God knows. And now God is enlightening your husband or God is enlightening your wife. Amen um i don't want nobody to be 
like I said, it's going to find a place to love. And I don't want y'all to be attached to someone who is not for you, especially when you're giving them the benefit of the doubt. Like you're trying to, to fit them into the narrative that God wants wants for you. You want them to fit that narrative. But in reality, you can't change a person. You only can you only can pray for a person. You know, we don't change people. Only God changed people. Amen. But I do feel led to go to this. I'm not going to read the whole scripture or title of it because um, God didn't tell me to put that out. But I remember being in a place of being a dumb girl for a man that did not deserve me. And although we all do go through that time of being dumb for a man or a woman, I had to realize, like, I was being too passionate about it meaning that i wasn't being compassionate i was being passionate about it i didn't realize where i once was that's that mind space that heart posture that i once was and i gotta realize like not everybody is there yet and i'm just giving y'all these words of encouragement that if you are in a relationship and y'all live together or if you are in a relationship and y'all fornicate and everything like that there is no way that God can honor that covenant while y'all still living in sin. Some relationships have to break up so y'all can get to, get closer to God separately so God can bring y'all back together as one flesh. Or some of us need to separate from a person where you are doing everything in your power, acting as a husband or a wife. Like, if you a wife... If you're not a wife, but you're a girlfriend to somebody for years, you cooking, cleaning, y'all having sex and everything like that, that man will not make you a wife. And just like for a, a man, if you providing, you having sex, or and you doing what men supposed to do, why would you make that woman your wife knowing that she's already doing everything to be a wife, honestly? Or you're you're a husband like you're the head but stop giving yourself away you're beautiful um yeah that's really all i wanted to say to y'all is to be spirit led by god completely just allow god to just rain on you seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto you because ultimately i was just reading genesis that women are made to love we are meant to love we we all yearn for somebody we all yearn for somebody yeah so it's not good for men to be alone. Genesis 1, 1, chapter 1 and chapter 2. But I'm just rambling. I love y'all so much. Anything to get in touch with me is in the description box below. We're moving the veil community as a community for people to join, to connect, and to get around like-minded individuals. I do have it set up as private, so when you join, you will not see previous messages. But trust and believe that we are family, and I love every single one of y'all. And y'all already know that y'all can contact me with my email. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces!